The late Jurassic was a harsh environment comprising of two supercontinents, Laurasia and Gondwana. This time period is best known for the numerous dinosaurs that inhabited these continents, including many sauropods, ornithopods, phyreophorans and theropods. Among the many theropods that existed in the late Jurassic, one might mistakenly think that the largest of these dinosaurs was the Allosaurus, a dinosaur often compared to the Tyrannosaurus rex due to its fame. Although the Allosaurus was certainly impressive, there were even larger theropods in the late Jurassic, and one of them was not even an Allosauroid, but instead a member of the Megalosauridae family. In this video, we will delve into the story of this extraordinary predator. The Savage Lizard, aka Torvosaurus. Torvosaurus first appeared around 165 million years ago and existed until approximately 148 million years ago, spanning both the Middle and Late Jurassic periods. Within the genus Torvosaurus there are currently two confirmed species. The first is Torvosaurus taneri, which could reach a length of up to 30 feet or 9.1 meters and a weight of 2 metric tons, already making it one of the largest land-dwelling carnivores of its time. The second species, Torvosaurus gurnei, reached lengths of up to 36 feet or 11 meters and a weight between 3 to 5 metric tons. This made it considerably larger than its North American counterpart Torvosaurus taneri. The size of Torvosaurus gurnei makes it the largest known carnivorous dinosaur from Europe. Torvosaurus was first described in 1979 and classified within the Megalosauridae family, belonging to the superfamily Megalosauroidea. Before the present date, there were many debates regarding the classification of Torvosaurus, which was assigned to the Carnosauria family in 1990 and then to the Spinosauridae family in 2003. However, these classifications are not supported by current phylogenetic analyses, which place Torvosaurus back within the Megalosauridae family. Torvosaurus taneri was first discovered in 1971. It was found in the Dry Mesa Quarry of the Morrison Formation in Colorado and dated to the Cambridgean to Typhonian stages of the late Jurassic. The second species, Torvosaurus canae, was first discovered in the Lorinia Formation in Portugal in 2000 and was also dated to the Cambridgean to Typhonian stages of the late Jurassic. However, this species was officially named only in 2014. In 2020, new Torvosaurus fossils were found in Germany and dated to the Calovian stage of the Middle Jurassic, making it the oldest known Torvosaurus. Unconfirmed members of Torvosaurus exist in the Tendaguro Formation in Africa and the Takoremba Formation in South America. If these fossil remains were attributed to Torvosaurus, it would likely hold the position of the apex predator in both environments. The Morrison Formation in North America is home to a wealth of dinosaur fossils and was inhabited by several large theropods of the late Jurassic. In this environment, Torvosaurus taneri competed with many other theropods, including Ornitholestes, Ceratosaurus, Marshosaurus, Allosaurus and Sorophaganax. Although Torvosaurus taneri was considerably larger than Ornitholestes or Marshosaurus, it was surpassed in size by Sorophaganax, which is still debated whether it belongs to the Allosaurus genus. The species of Allosaurus in the Morrison Formation include Allosaurus fragilis, Allosaurus lucalsi and Allosaurus gematzini, with Allosaurus fragilis being the type species. Nevertheless, despite Torosaurus being one of the largest theropods in North America at that time, the presence of several large and medium-sized theropods created a highly competitive ecosystem and likely limited the potential growth of Torosaurus taneri compared to its larger counterpart, Torosaurus gurnei. Torvosaurus gurnei inhabited the Lorinia Formation in Portugal and possibly the Onita Formation in Northwest Germany. In the Lorinia Formation, Torvosaurus gurnei competed with theropods such as Ceratosaurus, Lorinianosaurus, and Allosaurus europaeus. These theropods were significantly smaller than Torvosaurus gurnei, and the absence of Sorophaganax in the region indicates that Torvosaurus held the position of the top predator in its Portuguese environment. Torvosaurus had an impressive skull with a long narrow snout, a high maxilla and relatively large teeth. The neck vertebrae were flexible with ball joints and the base of the tail had long and wide neural spines that stiffened the tail at its base. These features resembled those of Ceratosaurus and suggest Torvosaurus preferred wooded terrain which better suited its long and stiff body. 
This terrain would have been disadvantageous for Allosaurus, which had a shorter body and less rigidity in the neural spines and preferred open terrain. Due to its size, Taurosaurus could have hunted a variety of herbivorous dinosaurs such as Camptosaurus, Dryosaurus, sauropods like Europasaurus and Phyreophorans like Stegosaurus and Miragaya. Taurosaurus' impressive snout was equipped with powerful muscles allowing it to deliver an extremely powerful bite, approximately three times stronger than that of an American alligator. This bite not only aided in capturing prey, but also likely served as a deterrent to other predators. Torvosaurus' teeth were adapted for effectively tearing through thick skin, such as that of sauropods, enabling it to efficiently scavenge on a sauropod carcass. In contrast, other theropods like Ceratosaurus and Allosaurus had poorly suited teeth that were either too long or too short and required significantly more effort to open a sauropod carcass. This possibly led to a form of commensalism among theropods during feeding events on sauropod carcasses, where one animal followed another and fed on the same prey. A modern example of this behavior are vultures that feed on carcasses left behind by lions. While Torvosaurus lived in proximity to Allosaurus, conflicts between them likely did not occur frequently. These predatory dinosaurs occupied different ecological niches that allowed them to prey on different targets without direct competition. It is believed that Torvosaurus had a certain degree of specialization in its choice of prey, contributing to the minimization of conflicts. Overall, Torvosaurus is a fascinating and impressive carnivore of the late Jurassic period, occupying a prominent position in the food chain of the Middle and Upper Jurassic in Europe and North America due to its size, power and unique features. That concludes the video on Torvosaurus. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you want to get to know me more, you can check out Twitter and Instagram. Links are provided in the video description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future content. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.